Hey YouTubers, in this video I'll be showing you how to use Activator on a jailbroken iPod Touch or iPhone. So what this does is it allows you to adjust what setting, well, what happens when you press certain buttons at certain places. So I'll go into Activator here. So as you can see, at the first starting menu of Activator, um, you can choose where you want your action to take place. Anywhere at the home screen, in the application, or in an application, at the lock screen, and uh, I'll show you the rest of this later. Um, so let's say I want to apply something anywhere. Then I go in here, and let's say if I hold the home button, a short hold of the home button. Let's say I want it to hmm. um let's say I just wanted to activate the switcher. Then I check that. Go back, you can go down here and then I'll just hold the home button and the switcher comes up. See? So, you can do lots of stuff with that. I'm going to disable that because I don't really want that. And then if you have something enabled for a certain button, you can just get to that button and hit the X and it'll disable it. Okay, so right now I have it so instead of the normal press and hold the power button and then the little power slider comes up I have this that comes up a little menu and it has the options of powering down, reboot, respring, or going to safe mode so I kinda like that better than so it gives you more options then I can just respring or reboot right from there and so how I did that is I made a menu so you go into menus and I have right now I just have three menus camera power and I have no idea what that is um, so I add a menu and I'll just call it menu I'll go in there and add an action Click play just add a few different actions here. Make a list. So, right now in my menu I have play, slash pause, the home button, safe mode, and app store. Just randomly put them in there. So, now I can go in here and say anywhere, tap anywhere, go, let's see here, how about, if I hold the status bar, so, I'll go tap on hold, and then, I'll go in here, and tap the menu I just made, which is named menu, so I'll tap on that, go back now I hold on the status bar and that menu comes up you can see the options there play pause on button safe mode nap store so that's how you activate it I don't want that so just a second so you can make those menus and use them or just use the regular actions so yeah, that's how you use Activator, and there's also some additions you can add on to it, like um, double tapping or triple tapping certain icons will open up certain things, like, yeah, right now I have it set, so if I double tap contacts, if I double tap contacts, it'll open up this new contact 
Okay, so anyways, that's what all I have for you today. I'll show the rest of it in another video. So, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.